Hi, welcome to Wisdom Wednesdays for your wisdom tip this week. No, I'm just kidding. Um, actually, this week I wanted to talk a little bit about artificial sweeteners and specifically talking about sucralose. So most of us know that aspartame, sweet and low, um, can't remember what the equal um, all those have come up with cancer and hormone issues and infertility and migraines and they're not good for us but n sucralose is the newest of all of them and um, it is it has been tricky people aren't getting the full truth about sucralose and so I want to kind of break the truth for you um, sucralose is also Splenda so it's the yellow packet and Recently, Splenda has had some um, some kickback, and so some companies were marketing that they had Splenda in their product because it's healthier, and now they're changing that to the scientific term sucralose. And so it's definitely worth, sorry, it's definitely worth reading labels to see if it's in there. But what sucralose is, is they have taken this sugar molecule and they have added a chlorine molecule to it so that when that sugar molecule goes through your body and through your intestinal tract, your body doesn't recognize it as food and it passes. That's great because you don't get, um, you don't get the calories. It just goes through your system. The problem is you're sending chlorine through your system. And what that chlorine is doing once it hits your intestinal tract is it is wiping out all your good bacteria. It's like drinking chlorine. Um, and so that is not something that you want in your body. And they are coming out with some infertility stuff along with Splenda, but because it's newer, it's slower. And we all know who how the government works with studies and things like that. It's just not, they're not speedy. So um, I want you guys to start looking at labels. You're gonna find sucralose in gum you're gonna find sucralose in yogurt, you're gonna find sucralose in things like Chex Mix. Some of the Chex Mix bags my parents sent home um, with us for the holidays last year totally had sucralose in it. I was so surprised. I was reading through the ingredient list and I was like, what? Why would you put that in there? Um, and so it, it'll be in bars, it'll be in all kinds of things, and it will be labeled as Splenda in some products and sucralose in the other. It's the exact same thing and you don't want either of them. Um, and so that's, I just wanted to get that out there so you guys know. I have a story from a client who, um, she was a teacher and every day over lunch she had a Diet Coke. It was her treat, it was her caffeine for the afternoon, it was, um, the fizz, the caffeine, everything she wanted. And she, and I mean, if you've read any studies on Diet Coke, it's so addicting. So anyway, she had this Diet Coke for lunch every day, and sure enough, at 2.30, as soon as the kids would leave the classroom, she got the worst gas, and she always thought, well, I'm thankful the kids are gone, um, but finally, she started putting the pieces together. She was like, I don't eat the same breakfast every day. I don't eat the same lunch every day. I'm not snacking between breakfast, lunch, and when the kids leave. Like, what is giving me the gas? And um, finally... She narrowed it down. She figured out it must be the Diet Coke. So she replaced her Diet Coke um, with iced tea or seltzer water. And sure enough, within a week, she did not have gas anymore. And it, her body was just reacting very quickly to the chlorine every day. Um, it also, you know, wiping out your intestinal tract is going to lower your immune system, which is the last thing we all need. Um, and so, yeah, just... Just be watching out for it, especially as we get into the holidays and um, you get some of the um, non-traditional products on the market or the holiday specific products, like it's in there. Watch for it. Um, see if you can go without it. If you've got it in your pantry now, throw the products away. It's not worth keeping it. Um, if you want an alternative sweetener without the calories, right now Stevia is really the best option. Um, it is it is literally plant-based. I have a stevia plant growing in my windowsill right now. Um, and so we know that it's not going to be as harmful as the others. Um, it they, they don't have complete studies on it yet because it's a relatively new find as well. Um, but it's plant-based, so I'm not too concerned about what they come out with. Um, you will find 
with stevia that it can have a bitterness to it. So you do have to try different brands. Like if you've tried it once and you didn't love it, um, don't be afraid to try something else or a different brand just because uh, depending on how that brand was processed, uh, it may or may not have a hint of bitterness to it. But it's also, I mean, it's also an alternative sweetener. And so if you use too much of it, the reason there, it's calorie free is because our body can't digest it. So you use too much of it, you're gonna have digestive discomfort. Um, so you definitely wanna start with just a little bit at a time. Um, and really it's, um, yeah, there's, there's such a fine line with stevia. You can use way too much. So you just start with a little bit if you're gonna use it. Um, it is a great option, um, but it's, it's still got that bitterness to it. And then finally, um, just gonna touch briefly on um, if you're gonna use regular sugar or honey or maple syrup, as far as like, is one healthier than the other? Like, to, they're, they're all sugar in your body. And so you don't want to have too much sugar. However, like honey versus regular sugar, honey's got the microbes in it and it's got um, the allergy fighting components to it. And so to some extent it is healthier, but it's not so, so much healthier that you can just replace all your sugar with it and call it good. Um, so just recognize that all sugar, honey, maple syrup, they all have the same blood sugar reaction in our bodies. Um, there might be some minor benefits to honey and maple syrup and molasses, but um, it's still sugar in your body. So yeah, if you guys have any questions or you have some specific things you wanna talk about along the lines of artificial sweeteners, alternative sweeteners, um, comment below and I'm happy to get back to you and we'll kinda of bounce back and forth on that. So anyways, hope you guys have a great day and hope this helps. I hope you guys get the Splenda out of your pantries. <laughs>